Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leonardo Cipolz. This time with another demo impressions. Now this time, this was a game I really wanted to play for a long time. I've heard great, great, great things about it. It's Immortal Phoenix Rising. Now, if you don't know, this game you, you, it was supposed to be called Gods and Monsters, but then Monster Drink decided that the word monster was theirs, and so they had to change the title to this, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, also, this game was made by Ubisoft, Ubisoft Quebec, and you know, people tend to have not great opinions about Ubisoft games because, you know, bugs and all that. But this is a really good game. The sun rose on the palaces and temples of the Golden Isle. Their facades still and empty. The gods within. Lost. This is really you no. Know, it's a Zelda-like experience. Um, you are basically in an open world. You travel around, you know, collecting stuff and solving puzzles, and you know, leveling your character up so you can fight harder death monsters. So I really enjoy the universe, the universe of uh, ancient Greece. But this one has a little twist because you know it just mashes everything together. It doesn't really follow any actual historical accuracy it just puts the cool stuff all together in the same place so i really thought that was cool right at the beginning you see um zeus and prometheus and prometheus having this conversation where prometheus wants to be historically cor correct and zeus just wants to tell a great story <laughs> cool story so i really thought there was really funny characters uh there's also uh, a couple of um intermissions where they appear and talk and it changes the adventure that you're having the gameplay that you're having which i thought was really really cool so you know if you like those pixar um, animated movies this this is kind of the same it has the same vibe and same humor phoenix was not so lucky wingless she just had to believe uh, overall the character moves wonderfully you know the animation is very cool the commands are very responsive and controls uh, had a little bit of problem uh, i mean I use the, the default setting, which is R1 and R2, where your hits, where I'm mostly, I'm more accustomed to having the buttons, you know, the square and the triangle being the hits and not the triggers. But I decided to try the default set just to, you know, see how it will work. And it doesn't work for me. It doesn't really doesn't work for me. I don't like triggers to be the hits. I like to, the buttons to be the hits, but that's just me. That's my personal preference. Um, but like I said, animation is cool. The colors of the universe are very, very cool. You know, it reminds you a little bit of Zelda or Genshin. I think games nowadays are really deciding to go to that um, cartoon aesthetic, which I really, really like. I mean, at least for for the, for the demographic they're trying to do, the for children, um, in other <laughs> most grown up games, no. But you know, it's a really fun game. It's fun to play. It's fun to explore. The controls, like I said, mm, I had a little bit of trouble with the defaults, but I'm sure if I just change it to the way I wanted, I'll be fine with it. <laughs> There are a few puzzles, most of them are pretty basic, pretty easy to do, but there was one that was in the demo there, I had to shoot an arrow through some rings and then activate a bonfire, and that was really complicated. I had to try like, I don't know, about 10 times before I could figure out what the hell it was supposed to do, or how I was supposed to do it, uh, because it, um, the camera angle is not optimal, I have to compensate a little bit because the arrow is not on the center of the screen, it's a little bit lower. And also had camera issues fighting the boss at the end, the Cyclops at the end, because the camera doesn't auto adjust that fast or that easily, you have to adjust it manually, especially when you go under the Cyclops, when you go under his legs to escape an attack, so you have to pan the camera yourself manually to make it work, so yeah, I had a little bit of troubles with that, so you are warned that might happen, but you know, not nothing, nothing game breaking. What was game breaking for me was that I reached the Cyclops and I had no potions, so then I have to travel back to the potions uh, cup or, I don't know, tub or whatever you call it, to make more potions. So I had to double back a little bit uh, because of that. But that's on me. I didn't understand the mechanics of the game. But overall, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, for each level that you complete, you get new weapons that you can equip and um, armor and helmets and all that. It's all very standard, but it's also very, very fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The game is already out now. If you enjoy it like I did, you know, just buy it and play it because I'm sure you have a good time. Um, and yeah, that's my impression on it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, 
Have a great game, guys. And with that, the Cyclops closed its eye forever. But Phoenix was too busy checking out her cool new armor to care. The end. So, no secret of the gods after all. Huh? You have lost, O Zeus. Not one truth in the entirety of this ridiculous tale you have spun. I, Prometheus, am triumphant. What do you have to say for yourself? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was eating. You're right. This is so juicy. The fruit of Gaia? What can I say? Never make a bet when you're chained to a rock. Actually, that's the secret of the gods. Oppression! Hey, did I just win the bet? <laughs>